rigs. There is a tornado warning here in northern uh, Madison County, Alabama, and in uh, South Lincoln County, Tennessee. Uh, I just uh, basically drove due north because uh, my friends told me it was it came right over my house, a funnel cloud, uh, the rotation cell. Uh, there's been reports of a funnel cloud, reports of a ro uh, ball cloud, uh, radar confirmed rotation, nothing reported on the ground. But supposing if you are in uh, Hazel Green north of uh, Joe Creek Road, seek shelter. If you're in Alora, Tennessee, Huntland, Tennessee, seek shelter. You might have to worry if you're even up in uh, Park City, Tennessee. I'm actually in Taft, Tennessee right now. I drove north of where I was at to get away from it. The red light you're seeing folk, uh, flashing in my eyes is from the red light at the intersection here at 210 and Old Railroad Bed here in Tennessee. Uh, hello, Karen. How you doing? So, uh, just giving y'all an update. I uh, warned y'all on my uh, on my Silverhead News Channel last night that uh, there would be potential storms. They only gave them about a 10% for my area, but uh, according to my friend Bill Brown, that cloud went right over my house. <laughs> but I was almost home. I was like within a uh, quarter mile of my house and I got the alert and I checked the radar and it looked like it was coming right at me and I said, I either gotta go north or south because that thing was running here storms run northeast. Typically it'd be better to run south, but there's a whole lot of cloud to the south, so I decided to flee to the north and I, I got away from it, whatever it was. Uh, I didn't get under the center of that cell. But uh, and I don't think there's any ground damage here, but it could spin up a tornado if you're in the area of uh, Hazel Green, uh, New Market, anything north of Joe Quick Road there in Hazel Green. So if you're in North Alabama, and I do have some followers that are in North Alabama. So just a heads up to you guys, or maybe other storms popping up. Hey, Dana, there is uh, later tonight down in South Alabama, there was a storm, I believe it was in Kentucky, that uh, knocked over a, a tractor trailer on the interstate, shut the interstate down. I want to say uh, Louisville, but I could be wrong. It might have been uh, somewhere else, but I think it was in Louisville. Uh, yeah, Ohio is a, 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 could be a big storm center tonight. Yeah, they were kind of thinking, and I checked the weather just before I left, and they were thinking that we weren't going to be in the woods in my area. The most of it would be south of us. But uh, indeed, it went right over my house, apparently. <laughs> so, uh, and it looked like it. It was a, there was a spot on the radar, just one spot, looked like an eye of a hurricane when I was looking at the little phone radar. But it wasn't updating fast, so I had a real problem tracking that versus where I was to know if I was really heading in the right direction. Yeah, EMP warning, we're getting into that. So, uh, for, I've got reports that uh, KLW World News, Lee Wilbarger reported from sources he's got that all the uh, federal contractors, or not all of them, but there's federal contractors been contracted to have all the federal buildings supposing the EMP hardened by, uh, by 31 October. Now that begs a couple things to know. 31 October, um, that uh, brings up a lot of questions in that one what they know is something coming or they're expecting bigger prospects of war but see here's something that you got to know hard in your building is it going to help a lot if you don't have any power the grid is not hardened if we have an mp the grid will go down and even if your building's hard you're not going to have any power it's not going to help you with that the only thing an emp hardening of your building does is keep your building from burning down uh, due to the electrical surge through your building now something a lot of people don't want to talk about is your home safe if you're connected to the grid no bottom line and a lot of these little chintzy devices i don't trust them the father and i could throw a herd of elephants so uh, just being connected to the grid is probably dangerous, probably risky. You may have to flee your house if the grid goes down because it may go up in flames. If you're in a neighborhood, you may have an inferno. So um, if you're living in city high-rises, God help you. If you're living in an apartment complex, God help you. Um, and if, it, if we get anything as powerful on the, the lines as the uh, Carrington event, which did cause fires in uh, telegraph stations, you could have some severe problems. Would it be that powerful? Who, who knows? We don't know. We know that the uh, Russians have perfected an EMP super weapon capable of putting out 200,000 volts per meter, which is four times harder than the old hardening spec that was developed. Now, I understand they got a new spec. It's probably classified. But uh, can they really harden to 200,000 volts per meter? 
with any of this stuff that fetches. I don't know. But then again, all it does is cover your facility. If you don't have some alternate power generation, you're in trouble. And you got to have, what, 100 decibels or something? It's, it's crazy what you got to do to meet these kind of hardening requirements. Uh, there are There is an EMP concrete that some people are going, hey, Jason, how you doing? Wood stove, hand pump, manual tools, amen. And that's why you see me go to the flea market all the time to get manual tools. Now, people didn't like watching those videos. I mean, this is boring. Why are you showing down the flea market? They don't care about the flea market. No, I was going to buy manual tools most of the time. Because, as Jason said, manual tools is what you're going to need. When the grid goes down, none of this power stuff is going to be worth a hoot. Now, you might have stuff in uh, Faraday cages, but if you don't have batteries and a way to keep those recharged, it ain't going to be worth two cents. And all that stuff you protect in Faraday cages, the grid's not coming back. It's not coming back. Everything you hear, well, we'll really get the lights back on in three months, four months, six months. If you fry ma a massive amount of those high voltage power transformers, our society will collapse. And even if somebody put them on every loading dock, there'd be nobody to put them in place. And that ain't going to happen either. The grid will not come back. Period. Forget it. Your own hand tools. All those uh, devices you save, okay, there'll be a force multiplier. You might have them for a few months. Or as long as it lasts, they wear out. When they wear out, game over. It's junk. Hand tools last. They could last a lifetime if you take care of them. If you're long about people like working on a farm, they won't last you two minutes. <laughs> Man, they can break still balls. Holy guac and smoke and moly. I've never seen tools. Uh, I've had tools for decades that just go to nothing in the hands of people that don't care. A lot of them just disappear. I find tools out in the woods everywhere. Where people just drop them wherever they're working on. Okay, I'm done. Drop it just like a cigarette butt. Nasty. Nasty way of thinking. You know, everything's expendable. Stuff. I cherished and took care of for decades. So, uh, uh, green, uh, so uh, that's what you got to pay attention to. Grid down situation is a potential. It's serious. You need those tools. You need guys. With everything going on in the world, Iran uh, is vowing revenge on Israel. They're probably going to hit Israeli consulates and Israeli embassies, just like Israel hit them tit for tat. That's likely the next step. And so. Uh, given that, what you can expect is they'll hit back. This is a futile kind of thing. When you, one hits one, one hits another. It's just tit for tat until it just keeps escalating. This is not a pretty situation. Uh, just shared your thank you for sharing, Tiffany. So, uh, guys, this is uh, not to be taken lightly. Uh, today's a storm day. I thought I was out of the woods. Man, I mean, it looked clear to the south of me. I was driving back, actually, I'd been up in Ardmore, Tennessee. You know, I'm running the air, and I was driving back home thinking, oh, good, everything's looking like it's clearing to the south of me. And bam, here it comes in a hurry. <laughs> uh, seemingly nowhere. I got a, a weather alert on my radio and on my phone simultaneously, and I pulled up the radar on the uh, phone. And then I could see uh, they had like two or three dots initially that coalesced down to one uh, rotation. And they were all like headed right at me. And it's like, Oop, I got to get out of here. <laughs> That's the best thing. You're in a vehicle, you can get blown away easy. But you can also move. If you're in a vehicle and there's a storm, if you try to outrun the storm and go in the same direction as the storm and you're in traffic, uh, you're, you may not make it because that storm is liable to overrun you. Because you you're going to panic, you're going to drive through stop signs, you're going to be a road hazard. The biggest hazard is probably you and not the tornado. Keep that in mind. Don't be the biggest hazard. The best way to escape a storm is to run uh, at right angles to the storm path. It means if the storm path is this way, you're going this way. If the storm's coming from the west to the east, you run north or south. Now, I ran north. Most storms here, though, go from the southwest to the northeast. So I was running north, but I wasn't running exactly uh, parallel to it. Not parallel. Well, I mean, not exactly uh, perpendicular to it. You don't want to run parallel either. So you can deviate. The sky is yellow green color in Ohio. That's not good, Hexafoos. Ohio, Indiana, and Ohio, especially northern Ohio, I believe, is, could be big centers for storms. All right, let me turn this storm, uh, camera and just show you where I'm at here. View around. Yeah, I'm here in uh, Taft, Tennessee. This is downtown Taft. 
got a store, got a tire shop, got some kind of air tool center, a church, and there's the post office right there. I'm right across from the post office. This is downtown big city metropolitan Taft, Tennessee. <laughs> Metro Taft. Any new tour uh, tomatoes? Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be planting anything since I might be moving it. Don't make a lot of sense for me to be starting a garden and I gotta jerk everything up. I got a lot of garlic growing though. Uh, let me check out some of the chat here. So the big thing to, to watch out for now, I could if y'all want to, um, I could drive. I could put the phone in uh, this attachment here and drive through Alabama. I can't hold it in Alabama. So I'm not driving the phone in my hand. We get tornadoes, but not until summer, says Brian. All right, so, um, yeah, let's see. What's uh, Jason say? Fire extinguishers never room charged and ready to go. Fire blankets, too. Yeah. In case of an EMP, that's good advice in case there are fires started up in your house. Ten years without power. Mitch, that's awesome. That's awesome. I think people need to think about going off grid. I just spent the past two days hiding out from a sundown return of cold weather, getting back to planting uh, sun chokes. All right, that sounds great, Jason. Everything's fine here, no problems whatsoever. We're good to hear it, Brian. Hi, Greg. When you get a minute on Google Earth, search Nineveh, Van Buren Township, Ohio, Path of the Cliffs. Then have a look at the strange markings on the road in the town. The road in the town. Okay, so Nineveh, Van Buren Township, Ohio. Hmm. People uh, like to argue the sky is blue, but it's, all, <laughs> it's always, that's funny. So, uh, creepy sky. So, uh, feels like, ten yeah, it's been really warm here today. Now, it was supposed to have gotten warmer. If it had that tornado, that might have actually been a, not just a funnel pad, it might have touched ground. I'm glad it didn't because it might have got my house. I assume everything is good at home. So, uh, how do you build a Faraday cage? I did a video on surviving EMP. Go watch my EMP survival video, but it tell it's a long video because it covers Faraday cages as one of many topics. It covers things like how to move tactically. Hang on guys, let me turn this around. Like tactical maneuvers, how to take deal with snipers, how to build foxholes. You know, I'm, I cover a, oh shoot. Dang it. All right, I'm trying to put my phone in the carrier and all it did was mess up. Uh, you touch anything on this phone and everything on the screen goes kablooey. Ah, yeah, 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 I got chat going one way, the phone is the other way. What a mess here. And my stinking cord, I can't keep it jammed in. I'm trying to jam it and hold it in and it wants to fall out while I'm got it jammed and held in. This phone is stupid. I hate this Samsung phone and I can't get my screen back. Yikes, let me turn it around and see if I can do a couple turnarounds. Wow, the screen is all messed up. Maybe I just need to end this. It's all messed up. I can't do anything with this thing. It is all messed up. I tried to put my phone. Hang on, I'll show what I tried to do. I tried to put my phone into that, and it wouldn't accept it going this way. It wants it up and down, but. That makes for a terrible video. Of course, that's all YouTube wants you to do these days. Is that they're hoping you'll make a short out of it. Because the only thing they want is shorts. And you'll make no money with shorts. Shorts are stupid. Shorts are stupid and YouTube is stupid for wanting shorts. Good grief. You can say anything you want to on a short. I mean, oh yeah, you can talk all kinds of stuff on a short. They'll monetize it. But they demonetize every darn thing I post on uh, Silverhead News. That last video demonetized already. I oh, will contest it. Ah, yeah, yeah. So I'm looking this way, but the chat's running this way now. So I'm going to have to turn the phone wanky to see the chat room, guys. This is not good. Stupid Samsung phones are garbage. I hate them. This is the worst phone I've ever owned, and I've owned a lot of phones. And every rendition I got was worse than the previous one. It is a hunk of junk. It is a piece of garbage. I, I really hate this thing. 
There's no jack to put a headphone in because they want you to use Bluetooth. I'm not going to use Bluetooth, but see, I couldn't. I had a little point of sale thing you to use square with. I can't plug it in anymore. You got to buy one. It's a lot more expensive to work with Bluetooth. I'm sitting here, my windows are fogging up. I need to get moving. Roll the window down. I don't have a fan in here. I got to get rolling, guys. So the bottom line is that. Um, if you are in uh, Northeast Alabama, be weather aware. If you're in Southeast Alabama, it's supposed to be a real stormy there, be weather aware. If you're in Indiana, if you're in Kentucky, if you're in West Virginia, Indiana, and Ohio mainly, be weather aware. EMP warnings, guys, I don't know what they're trying to accomplish with hardening the buildings, or maybe they don't want the buildings to burn down. Why don't they do what a lot of us have been pushing for to start with, is get the grid hardened, and they wouldn't have to worry about that. That's what I've been trying to make happen for a long time, and they refuse to do it. They fight it. And to me, that's like treason. Ay, 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 what a bunch of, yeah, there's a lot to be unhappy with right now, guys. A lot to be happy with. I guess this video will be hit because I said the T word. But, yeah, it's, we're not in a pretty situation, guys. There's no way to say that we are. Um, bottom line, if the feds feel that they've got to jump through hoops and get buildings hard. Hey, we got a super chat. You don't know me, Mom. $20. Salute to you. Thank you. That's probably all I'll earn from this video today. Thank you. You don't know me, Mom. I am highly thankful for that. So, uh... Let's see. I turn my head sideways to read these. Either that or you're going to see me sideways. A lot of my friends and uh, sons, friends, oh, it's blanking out. I'm trying to read it. Are sure interested in the EMP topic. A lot of people, yeah, I got a lot of EMP videos, Tiffany. Uh, send them links to the videos I've done on EMPs. Just search EMP on my channel. Uh, angry Gandalf. <laughs> you shall not pass. No, I've been trying to, to, to save this country, and it's like trying to save a, a suicidal drunk. Seriously, guys. I mean, I've chaired two power grid defense conferences. I'm a member of two power grid, national level power grid defense committees. And it's just frustrating what, you, what we're going through to try to get the grid hardened. Uh, it don't even make sense. We shouldn't have to even be talking about this. They ought to do their job and get it done. But no! They have spent more money, more of your rate paying money. You rate payers, they've taken your rate payer money and hired lawyers and spent more money on the lawyers from K Street to fight harden the grid than it would have cost to harden the grid. That is incredulous. Hey, Brian Perandi, thank you, sir. Pittance for taking uh, time, Greg, save America. Amen, thank you, Brian, salute to you. Guys, can you believe it? Can you believe what they do, the links they go to, to keep from protecting you? It's it, it's maddening to think that they do that. It's just unbelievable. But now they're taking care of their facilities all at once. They don't worry about their little buildings. But, you know, where is hardening the grid at? If they harden the grid, they wouldn't have to worry about their buildings. Hmm? 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 And what do they know? Are they expecting something to happen after the 31st of October? A lot of people have been expecting something might happen a little sooner. I mean, uh, there's all kind of dates being thrown around between now and then. I don't know, guys. I know one thing. It makes sense to get ready, to be prepared. It's not buying insurance. But your preps, buy preps that you can eat later and just eat them. You know, get your water purification. And if nothing else, go camping with it for Pete's sake. Enjoy life, says Greg. Welcome to my world. I go through what you're going through with your phone all the time. My Samsung Galaxy, yeah, Samsung Galaxy is a piece of junk, James Darling. I wholly agree, it's a piece of junk. And every new version is worse than the previous version. Worse, worse. It's like they don't get better, they get worse. And I never got an iPhone because they were so entwined with China and slave labor, I just didn't want it on my conscience to carry an iPhone. Just not, did not want to have to deal with that. So, I don't know guys. 
Yeah, this is not a pretty situation. But there ain't a lot of choices, and smartphones are just really good at tracking you anyway. Maybe I need to get. Problem is now, a lot of the stuff I log on to, a lot of the things that do two-factor security, they want to go through your phone, and uh, and you know the apps are all connected through the phone. It's getting ridiculous. It's, they're almost trying to force you to carry one of these things, and that is ridiculous in and of itself. Uh, so. Um, all the sun says star turn. She's got a star sign and turn. Okay, uh, well, the sun is a star. What do you mean star turn? Uh, Saturn? I don't know, all the sun, what are you telling us? Uh, when will the phone. When you cure the phone, turn the phone, read, chat, put. Oh, did my phone turn? Am I sideways? All right, guys. Is this it now? Did it switch on me? Orientation locked. Rotate device back, it says. Okay, didn't like that. Sunshine 21. Salute to you. Thank you. What do you want to let me do that? <laughs> Salute Sunshine 20. Am I sideways, folks? Tell me. Am I sideways? When you say turn. Now, the chat's going this way. Am I sideways? Read above. Well, read above. I'm having a hard time reading. You're good now. Guess what? Turn. Sideways again. Well, I didn't like it because I set this thing to be horizontal. When I tried to plug it in, apparently it switched. I'm going to see what happens. Wow. Now the phone says, orientation is locked. Re rotate the vase back. Yeah, it don't like me doing this, and I can't see my image in it. This is nuts. This is nuts. Because I set this phone to be in a horizontal orientation. Now it tells me I'm... But the phone's telling me I'm wrong. It says orientation is locked. Rotate the phone device back. Wow. Maybe I can plug it in this thing and drive now. Let's see. If I can do that now. Orientation. But am I light looking through a crack in the door? Oh, shoot. This thing is stuck. I messed this thing up trying to widen it. Hang on, guys. i got to set the phone down and deal with this thing. I'm trying to put... Oh, God, I messed it up. I can't get it back going there again. I messed up. Wow. I messed up the device to hold my phone. I tried to spread it out to put the phone in the other orientation, and now it's stuck wide open. It won't close. It won't close back down. That thing's like glued on my windshield. I can't get it off. Now it's all messed up. Oh my God. So I can't drive. See that thing is set too wide to put the phone in this way and I can squeeze it back down. And that back there, I tried to pull this thing off. It's it's like glued in or something. I had a friend put it in here. I bet she put glue on it. Cause it did not want to pop off. Wow, my phone tells me. Yeah, it says orientation is lock, rotate device sideways. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to end for now. I'll thank y'all for the super chats. Yeah, my now my device, which I use for my GPS when I'm driving, is messed up. Probably permanently. And I don't even know if I can get it off the windshield. i got to see if I can close it down. I just tried squeezing it. I tried these things here and squeezing it. And, but it takes two hands. I was trying to do it both hands, and it wouldn't move. Well, we got some rain here. Yeah, but I can't drive unless I put my phone in something. State of Alabama. Well, I'm not in Alabama yet. It's illegal now to drive with your phone uh, in your hand. And so that's why I was trying to put it in that device right there. It just didn't work. Now I divest that device. Hey! Wow. How do you pronounce that? M O R uh, Mori River. Uh, hey there. Mo River Cheryl. Am I saying it right? Fifty dollars. Wow. This is I don't get on here often, but I appreciate what you do and for your safety. Wow, salute, thank you. Let me see if I can turn this phone back around. Where's the turn around button at? There it is. Salute to you. Thank you for that awesome super chat. That'll definitely help me a lot. And uh yeah, we got starting to rain harder again. My windshields are wanting to fog. If I don't get moving, I won't be able to see nothing. <laughs> 
So guys, let's say uh, rocking today. Yeah, guys. So Joe Biden bought up the term oyster business at the Easter egg. Oh, oyster bun oyster bunnies hunt in front of kids that that is a technology for yeah I don't know I got it says my orientation is blocked right across that message I can't read the message look into first encounter in fair what oh my god put anything fast by I'm not gonna be able to do nothing my windshields are fogging up again the blower in here don't work right and the fan runs but it put air where it's supposed to. Yikes. I can't see nothing. I'm gonna have to wipe the windshield off. I ain't got paper towels in there. I don't know why. I had to roll in here and it just like vanished. Maybe if I drive a little bit with the windows down it'll uh, clear off the windshield. Anyway guys, no I'm in a Dodge Ram Van 1500. This is my home. Away from home. When I was in Arizona I lived in this van. It was stranded in Houston for uh, almost three months. Finally got her running, got her back. I've done a lot of videos in this van, by the way, when I was in Snowflake, Arizona. Most of the videos I did at that time was in this van. So, including that, uh, I often did them from uh, Taylor. You can see back in, I don't know if y'all can see back there. I got a bed back there. And I got feed in the floorboard. What I went and, I went and got feed. Then I ripped the, uh, the O'Reilly's in Ardmore looking to see what it's going to take to get my windshields cleared out to get some cleared windshields with. Not windshields, I meant my headlights, which are kind of grungied up. So, uh, so I was doing errand runs, taking care of errands. I got feed for worms and rabbits in the back. So, uh, yeah, I got a bed back there. I could sleep back there right now if I had to. And if it gets cold, I got a sleeping blanket to cure me. There's a rose. How you doing? How do I get your channel to see the MP videos? Okay, I don't know how to do it from my phone. But if you go to a computer, if you got an internet link, just go to, uh, man, I need paper towels. I had a whole roll in here. I don't know where they went. I don't know what the toilet paper is. I gotta wipe my windshield off. Ah, I'm sitting raining too much to keep the window down when my windows are flying. Well, I'm because I'm sitting still. That's part of the problem, this whole thing, you can't drive and hold your phone. Yikes, guys. Uh, go to my channel, where there's a little hourglass, hit tap, tap on the hourglass, and put search in the search button that comes up. Type in EMP, that's all you gotta do. Type in any subject you want to search for videos and various and sundry uh, uh, subjects. Type, power, uh, type EMP for one. You can type power grid, You'll get a different set of videos. I mean, they might not all have EMP in the title. You might tap, type in CME for the sun for chronal mass ejection, EMP for electromagnetic pulse. So type in EMP, type in, uh, uh, yeah, there's one on the EMP survival in particular. Sometimes it's not going to break the videos you're looking for, but it usually does. It usually does. I will try to do, uh, a lot of times I show people how to do these things when I'm doing a live session from the house. I will bring up my website and show you how to search for videos on my channel. So just do that. Uh, big trouble coming on Israel with aid workers, seven of them bombed, sign of uh, Jacob. Well, yeah, you can expect all kind of trouble now that they bombed that consulate in Syria, the Iranian consulate, and took out. 11 Iranian high-level people there, including at least two Brigadier Generals. Uh, you can expect bad things, guys. We had, what's that saying? We had bad storms last night, says Desert Rose. Well, I'm glad you're through that. Mpox is rampant due to unicorn, oh, I'm not gonna read that. Yeah, I did a video on the monkey pox. I did a, a look for monkey pox on my channel. I made a little, I did a little song in there. I had a little dancing monkey. I was, I was making fun of it. So uh, go check out my, look for my monkeypox video, guys. Uh, driving or I dropped the link. Yeah, I'm going to have to go, guys. So you got the main message for those that caught me earlier. I was warning y'all that if you were in northeast Alabama, uh, Madison County, northern Madison County, southern Lincoln County, Tennessee, you got to worry about tornadoes. I'm sure it's past that area now. This thing was moving 40 miles an hour. I've also warned you of this uh, 
uh, uh, new uh, push by the federal government to get all their buildings EMP hardened by 31 October. And I mentioned the folly of that because you're not going to have any power with the grid down. The grid will go down. Uh, so it's like as if they're just trying to protect the buildings alone. And like, not, why don't they protect the grid and protect us? Uh, they spend more money fighting, hardening the grid than it would take to harden the grid, which is insane. And then uh, back into bigger questions like, are you safe on the grid at all? I would submit the answer is no. There's no safety being on the grid. Being on the grid is unsafe. Your, and uh, all these little devices they brag about, I wouldn't trust them no farther than I could throw uh, an elephant, an Afri a big African male tusked elephant. You know, I, I wouldn't trust them for anything. Further, I could throw a blue whale, a <laughs> humpback whale, I don't know, whatever the biggest animals are, uh, I wouldn't trust them for nothing. And I, I tell you guys, just be careful, be aware, uh, get your preps in order. Uh, it's springtime, plant your seeds. Just like Jason was telling you about, uh, he was planting right now and talking about getting manual tools. Get manual tools, go to your flea markets, your thrift stores, wherever you can save some money uh, on that stuff. Uh, get long-term food as much as you can get from the big box stores. And you know, my Patriot Supply still got those buckets. You can check out my link to that prep with Greg. Just go to prepwithgreg.com uh, and find the deal on the buckets. You know, uh, the good thing about them is you can bury them. They're good for burying, for cachets. Yeah, I know it's pronounced cash. I call them cachets, just like I call Nashville, Canax, uh, Canashville, and Knoxville, Canoxville. You know, it's part of my, hey, grid down, what do you need to know? There you go, thank you. Uh, New Days for sharing the uh, article there. Oh, I don't know about that, the watchman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you might get some monkeypox there too. I don't know, you know, monkeypox. Uh, alpha I disconnected mine. Get what kind of pails, of food pails, Jay? Uh, if you go to prepwithgreg.com, you can find long-term food storage there and specials on it. It's incredibly cheap for right now, too. So if you're looking for a price deals on it, that's not bad because there's 25-year-long storage for the price. Uh, you're not going to beat it. Uh, I may try to come up with some other deals for, for, for quality, but you're not going to beat the price on that. Thank you. Uh, New Day shared a uh, link there. So appreciate that. Good Lord, what are they coming up with, with next? Uh, guys, there may be something big coming. You know, this whole thrust to harden the federal facilities that's about something i don't know what it's about but i need to go i'm i'm seriously going to be challenged i got to get some air moving through this van to get my windows defogged i'm going to just roll down the windows and drive <laughs> if they fog up any worse i'm not going to be able to see it all congress will the middle of the night passed a bill with lots of money for a really in the middle of the night wow and lobster tanks you, what does lobsters got to do this i saw some video with lobster pictures. I don't know what lobsters got there. So that's over my head. I'm I'm just some poor dumb rocket scientist. These topics are over my head. I don't get them. I don't get it for a minute. This car won't have to pass me before I go here. So um, I don't get what they're talking about. How do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? That's it. You've been eating for a while. It'd be nice to have an elephant in the freezer, right? <laughs> oh well. Hey right, folks, where's the stop video button? I think that's it right there. Thank you, Super Chatters. Y'all made it awesome. I appreciate you all. Thank you, Mods. You've been sharing some links. I appreciate that. What's blinking? It's the light here in Taft, Tennessee. I'm in downtown metropolitan Taft, Tennessee. We got a tire store, a closed store there. It's only store in town. It's, I think even tire store is closed now. We got a church. Of course, you got a church and a post office right there. This is Metropolitan, Taft, Tennessee. <laughs> I ran here up here to get away from the storm. Now, I'm going to go home. If I see any storm damage, I'll let y'all know. Anyway, again, thank you, Super Chatters. Thank you, Mods. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Please share my videos far and wide. And look up the stuff on EMP, EMP survival, nuclear survival, bug out survival, bug out videos. I got stuff on all those topics posted. Water purification, uh, wild edibles, 
check all that stuff out. Wild edibles are free, guys. Uh, I got those kind of is wild medicinals. Thank you all for watching. Uh, Y'all take care. Thank you in Super Chatters and Greg out.